Hi, this is Akisa Kim. I'm a research engineer at Naval Labs Corporation. This is a joint work with Professor Ayan Kim of Seoul National University. This paper is about long-term LiDAR mapping solution named LTMapper and it is released as an open source. The problem is places are changing with time. So the existing maps will be outdated and this could cause catastrophic, catastrophic false localization of a robot. Long-term map management is a mandatory and very important work for the safe localization. And many companies such as TomTom, DeepMap, here, etc., are working on this important research topic. However, as far as we know, there is not yet a strictly agreed rule or pipeline to update a point cloud map. I would like to show you two, example, two snapshots of the same place from different time stamps. As you can see, we need to detect some disappearing things, newly appeared things, while not try not to forcefully removing or adding some occluded structures. This paper is about these questions for the given data, how to detect changes and how to update the changes. To meet the aforementioned goals, three challenges should be handled separately and sequentially. We should first precisely align two sessions to detect changes accurately. And for the alignment, we need to mitigate the long-term localization error or intersession inconsistency. After the accurate alignment of a central map and the quarry map, we first remove non-place points such as moving objects. And finally, we detect changes and define some update policies. For example, in the previous two snapshot case, a update system should have different behaviors considering the fact that the which session is the first and the other is follows. To do such three requirements, we employed our group's previous works, scan contacts and remove it for the first two stages. And additionally, we propose a novel LT remover and LT map procedures. They are connected in modular design and communicate each other by piping a shared data format. This is a visualization of the proposed LT mapper system. We first align two sessions by multi-session SLAM assisted by scan context and the anchor node. Then dynamic objects are removed and we get cleaned maps. Finally, the po positive and negative changes and the changes are pushed to the central map. Thanks to the multi-session SLAM module named LT-SLAM, multiple sessions having different starting poses can be arranged within the shared global frame. LT-MAP classifies the detected changes based on the egocentric visibility. Thus, non-placed needs objects can be not added to the central map. We expect this would be valuable to map a place asymptotically to have pure static. Also, as a byproduct of the automatic change detection, we can segregate low dynamic objects automatically. We hope this self-labeling could boost to understand the relationship between the shape and the ephemerality of an object. Conclusion. Our long-term mapping system has modular design uh, that can be generally integrated with, with existing light automatry methods. Second, we does require only a single LiDAR sensor. Finally, the whole pipeline of the system is released as an open source.